Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to create a server, even the server in DigitalOcean, uh, and, and in order to be able to connect it with Zoom Admin. Uh, now, um, I'll first show DigitalOcean, but as our website says, you can either create the server in any of the cloud environments, or even locally on your desktop using something like um, VirtualBox or Hyper-V or something else. Uh, but in this video, let me quickly show you the digital, digi DigitalOcean one. So once you create an account in DigitalOcean, what's nice is that when you go create um, Droplet, they have all these uh, options for you. So the default Ubuntu 18 will work fine with Zoom Admin. You can also select the 19s, but don't select the older ones. Uh, we work with the newer versions of Ubuntu. Uh, the price point, you can leave the default, but you can also go back all the way to $5 one. We'll work with any of the instances. Uh, it really depends on your needs and uh, how big of a server you need. You can, of course, uh, select other storage options, but uh, select a data center that's close to you so that, so that you have less delay to get to your server. So in my case, it's you know I'm in California, so I'll probably select San Francisco to be closest. Um, and you do want to select SSH key, the one um, that you have available. Um, if you have imported before, will show up here. Um, but otherwise, you can create a SSH key, import it, and then it'll show up here. Or you can just leave the default one-time password. That's also fine. Or you can create a new key. And again, uh, this is this is optional. So next, you want to name your droplet. So name something meaningful, you know, like web server one, maybe I don't know, whatever the, the intent is for the web server. And then you can tag the server, like dev production. I usually tag them based on the environment as well. Enable backups. This is also recommended. Um, you know, if. And again, it really depends on the size of the server. Like for a $5 server, the, the backup is only $1 a month, so it's really cheap. What that enables you to do, it automatically backs up um, the, the, the your server so that in case something goes wrong, you can always go back and restore. And what's nice about the cloud infrastructure is that it's really easy to uh, back up and restore your servers without any intervention from the support team you can do it yourself within matter within matter of seconds um, but you know that's that's for another video if you want to see that I can demo that as well but technically that's all you need to do to create a droplet I'm gonna go ahead and create this droplet now and you'll see that it gets created um, if I go my droplets now I have a web server one here now and it'll take a couple of seconds to create and once it's created uh, if you have as you have SSH key you can access the server via SSH key or you can also use the console here to log in or you can you will get one-time password to log in into SSH using the one one-time password but for zoom admin all you need to do is to have access to the SSH as a root, um, first time to connect it with Zoom Admin, um, you know, so that uh, you can run a command, which I'll show you in the next video as far as connecting with Zoom Admin. But this is just creating the server part. Now, like I said, Zoom Admin also works with um, VMs that's on your local workstation as well. And I'm doing a tutorial actually how to create a VM all the way from. French install of I, in ISO uh, from Ubuntu ISO all the way to installing configuring SSH. So that's something else you can do. Again, this is really helpful for development. So let's say you are trying to set up the development environment. I would strongly recommend to use uh, some sort of uh, virtual environment. In this case, VirtualBox is free open source software. You can use that. And what's nice is that you can take um, snapshots pretty easily. You know, like take the current state, take a snapshot. It just takes like a second. And restoring it, restoring from the snapshot also takes a couple of seconds. So it's 
really fast. You can configure this once and then use it all the time. Even if your PC or Mac changes, you can always keep the same image and then you don't have to um, configure your VMs all over again or your, all, all of your uh, development, development environment and tools you use all over again. And uh, what's nice is that this will also work with Zoom Admin. So if you are trying to create local instances of, let's say, WordPress or PHP site, whatever application, right? And let's say you are working with multiple of them, Zoom Admin will actually work on your local VMs as well, which is really nice. Um, it does not need a direct connection to your server. It works through message queues, those of you who are technical. Um, so it's really secure and also works behind firewalls so you don't need to have a we don't open any ports on your servers and and it just makes it really easy to um, just connect it with zoom admin either your local instances to spin up multiple local websites pretty easily and again i'll have demo videos for, for those as well but also if you are using a cloud environment um, something like DigitalOcean, uh, it will also work it will also work with the uh, cloud infrastructure much easier. It just takes a couple seconds to create the server and then another couple seconds to connect it with Zoom Admin. Again, one time, uh, one time command you run via you know after logging into the server of SSH. After that, you don't have to log into server anymore if you don't want to. You can just come to Zoom Admin portal and after your server is connected, like connected, like the server is here, you can go into the server and start managing and creating applications, websites, WordPress websites, all kinds of things. And again, I'll demo more videos uh, for those features in the next videos. So keep watching. Uh, there's a list of uh, videos on our sites. Just go to the features um, page and I'm demoing, you know, I'm trying to create a demo every single feature. If you do have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. My name is Michael Peltan I'm, and I'm the founder of Zoom Admin. You can just reach out to me, michael at zoomadmin.com. Thank you. To continue watching, click on one of the following videos and click the ZA icon in the middle to subscribe to our channel. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. It really helps us with YouTube algorithm. And comment below if you have any questions or you can also email me directly, michael at zoomadmin.com. Thanks again.